Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. Let's turn our attention now to the SCG last night. A crowd of almost 30,000 saw the Kangaroos sneak home by almost the narrowest of margins. Two points mm. for the Kangas, and they're sitting very, very comfortably, as we saw earlier. Well, I don't know if anyone's comfortable in the top eight, but the Kangas are there for the moment. Uh, let's head to Sydney now, because ready to jump on the big bird to come home is Sean Higgins, who was in outstanding form last night. Uh, Sean, congratulations on the win. Morning, boys. Thank you. Very good win, Sean. Oh, uh, led at every break and a very, very good win. Always good to get on the bird, to fly out of state and to beat Sydney in Sydney. That is one of the great wins. Higo? Yeah, it is. It's always really big for a young team to win on the road. And I don't think there's any bigger task than coming up to Sydney at the SCG when we know how much the quality side and the form that they've been in this year. And like I said, with a young group, we played really well. It was a bit of a grind for most of the night and we were able to come away with a win. You certainly were, and it was um, a team effort. I know we say that a lot, but everyone did something when they had to last night. Higo, it was a really good 22-man performance. Yeah, it was. Everyone played their role. We know that we're the sort of team that we need that if we're going to get the result. And guys that stood up, Mason obviously, who played a fantastic game, but then you go across the board with guys that just play their role up forward. Kane Turner, who does it every week. Ed Vickers-Willis, unfortunately, got injured, but before yeah. that, he was playing a really important role for us down back. It was a 22-man effort. Yep. Uh, and like I said, we need them to uh, get the four points. I thought Adelaide showed a blueprint of a couple of weeks ago how you beat Sydney in Sydney. Did you do some research on that? Because it seemed very similar the way you played last night to Adelaide a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, we were able to look at the way that teams have gone about it the last couple of weeks. and um, We felt like we were really well prepared. We knew the sort of game plan that Sydney liked to play, especially when it's at home at the SCG and like I said it was a bit of a grind but they're the games that you usually get against Sydney and it was great to be able to match them on the inside and then be able to get them on the outside as well. Sean, how honest is Billy Hartung? Did, did he tell you if that ball was touched off McVay or not? Puts the pressure on Billy Hartung. Oh, I think Billy's probably the last person to know. He was looking at the ball go through but um, when you're out on the ground, already we didn't get any replays at all um, on the ground. Um, not that I saw. So we went back to the middle and they bounced the ball. The, the first I heard of it was post-game when people thought that it may have been touched, but I'm sure they would have looked at it. If it was an obvious one, they would have called it. Are you a fan of the video review system? Oh, look, I think it's OK. It, like I said, it's more for the, the howlers that are out there, and if it was so close that they couldn't decide, then um, I don't think there's any need to hold the game up for five minutes to try and decide it. If you can't get a result in the minute, minute and a half when the ball's going back to the middle of the ground. Let's bounce the ball and get on with it. Hey, Higo, life's good. You've had two best ons in the last three games. You've had a baby. In between that, you've been knocked out, but life's pretty good. Down. Kangaroos are in the eight. Got that lip. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's been, uh, it's been an interesting couple of weeks, but it uh, makes a hell of a lot of difference when you cap off a couple of the wins. And um, like you said, yeah, top eight, it's a bonus with a young side, but more importantly, I think we've been pretty consistent the way we've gone about it all year. Um, and last night just capped oh. off that result. Oh, we're just seeing the bub now, mate. A photo of yourself and the baby. What's your name of the little girl again? Rosie. 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 Rosie yeah. Joan. Could you remember you had a baby, Higo? Because you were knocked out. <laughs> I, I, I remembered maybe two or three hours after it, Bill, but um, no, it was all good. By Sunday night, the, the memories of the, the birth came back to me, so don't worry, I, I couldn't get those images out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Higo, I have to ask you about Mason Wood. Yes. Uh, you know, you've, you've known at North Melbourne for a long time. He's a good player. You've invested in him. I think he got a long-term contract. He's had a lot of injuries, but he's also played some VFL football. He took nine marks, kicked four goals. What's been his issues? I know he's had injuries, but why has he played some VFL <coughs> footy this year? Yeah, he was... Um, I think he's played 25, 30 games in his career. He's had a handful of games that have been top shelf. Last night was one of those. It was a little bit unfortunate through the JLT that he played one game, had a bit of an injury, struggled a little bit for a little bit of form, things just off the ball that he needed to go back and work on. Mason was really clear in what he needed to do back at VFL level. Took a couple of weeks for him to get back into a bit of the rhythm. Kicked six goals last week in the VFL. Had a really strong performance. And there's no doubt we're a better side when Mason Wood's up and firing and playing his best football. Um, it was handy that he was able to deliver that last night on the big stage. And we expect that Mace, he's not going to kick four or five goals every week, but what he can bring with his um, agility around the ground. He's got a massive tank. He can work up the ground. He can work back. Um, so they're the things that we look at for Mace. And, 
if he can add a couple of games in like he did last night, we're going to be a better team, that's for sure. No, well done. Now, here are the votes. You're the best on ground. Here you go. No doubt about that. Love the way you went about it. Mason Wood was good. Benny Jacobs, he is a star. He uh, gets it himself good. and uh, contains the opposition. And Callum Sinclair is playing really good footy. Uh, you know why he's best on ground? Why? Because his skills are so good. We talk about today how the skills aren't that good. Mm. Sean Higgins, outstanding. Brett Deledio, another one. They stand above because of their skills. And also the Sydney oh, Footy yeah. Club. They're four and three, Tony. Three and zip. Or zero. Three and zero away from home. At home, one and three. Jeez. At home this year, Os one and Oscar three. Oscar, give you all that? <sighs> Oscar, no, I heard someone say right. that. <laughs> hey, Sean, thanks very much for your time this morning, mate. And uh, I'm sure you'd encourage all North Melbourne supporters to get along next Sunday when you take on the reigning premiers yes. at Eddie Stadium. Yes, thanks, guys. Cheers.